Hello, it's Michelle from Craft with MV. And today we'll be making this card, which is either can be a birthday card for a gentleman or a Father's Day card. The sets we're going to be using is a Going Global. We're going to be using the compass looking stamp here and the World's Best Dad stamp. We're going to be using the the World Traveler textured embossing folder. We're going to be using the Going Places DSP paper. There's a little different paper in here. The one I'm using is this one. Okay, we're also going to be using the, um, this label frame is from the Rose Garden frame list. We'll also need some Delightful Dijon ink, a sponge, of course, uh, stamping dimensionals, and our snail started now. So what I'm using is Lost Lagoon paper, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a half. I have scraps which I use to make the label. I already pre-did these. And to do the compass. And that's a the compass is um cut out with a one and three quarters inch round punch. So that's another thing we needed. I have Sahara Sand paper, which I did the um, embossing folder on, and that is four and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches. I have my designer series paper, which is five and a quarter by two and a quarter inches, and then I did a small piece, which is five and a quarter by one inch. Okay, now we can start putting our card together. Well, before we do that. Okay, first thing we're going to do is a sponge. I, I, to add some texture to this, I'm sponging it. So I'm taking the Delightful Dijon. And I'm just kind of going off a little bit on the paper so it's not so much. And just kind of, I just kind of rubbed over the, the paper with it. Just so you can see it a little better. Okay, that's step one. Oh, why well, would have it here? I've already um, done the images in the delightful Dijon, also on lagoon paper, lost lagoon paper. But I'm gonna, of course, you know me. I want to sponge the edges. So, do that with that, and I'm also doing it with the uh, compass stamp here that I punched out with the round punch. And just a little, just to finish things off. I like to, I think if you watch my videos, you see I do a lot of that. Um, okay, so we're done with the ink. Okay, now we can start layering our piece. So we have our card base. Before that, I'm going to put snow adhesive on The back of my designer series paper along the bottom. Whoops, get that out of the way. And just a little ways up the top for now, and a little ways up the top here for now. Okay, I want to leave a little border on the bottom, and it's going to go edge to edge with that little border. Okay, now I'm going to. Put adhesive on it again, press it on the bottom, and okay. Now I'm going to place this. I don't know if you can see, I'm sorry, I keep getting out of frame towards the bottom of the card in the middle, center it. Okay, now I'm going to take <coughs> our embossed piece. And put still adhesive on the back of this. And I'm going to place this. I want it just a little off the top. Make it edge to edge. So, like so. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to put dot dimensionals on the back of these.
Again, if you stick your finger, I'm sorry, I'm off screen. If you stick your finger in the center here, those come off pretty easy. Now, if you see, this is the top and the, you know, basically the top and the bottom. I do want to go a little off center. I'm not so much into being perfect. Okay. And then again, just stick your finger in the center, kind of pops up the sides. Oops. No nails, so. Okay. Okay, there we go. It's a pretty simple card. Of course, I didn't do all the stamping and everything. Um, again, it's something you can do with any colors, any design, any series paper, stamps in the set, like the world. You could do the world. You can do, you know, anything else. I just wanted to do something simple. Um, when I first started making this, I thought it looked a little more masculine. That's why I made it a, a men's um, Father's Day card or birthday card. If you liked it, let me know. Um, if you're looking for a demonstrator, I'd be happy to be your demonstrator. Or if you're looking to become a demonstrator, I'd be happy to talk to you about that. I have the instructions outlined on my blog. Or you can go below and I have a list of all the supplies I used. And also on my blog, there's a list of supplies. Um, you can go to my website also if you want to order anything. So thanks for watching. I know it was a little quick. You know, I thought it would be a nice, easy card to do.